tonight. Tracking North Korea's weapons, going after liberal judges, and the newest White House correspondent. We're not making propaganda, we're fairly reporting. Late last week, President Trump floated the idea of canceling the daily White House press briefing for good. The suggestion seems almost reasonable. The briefing room was once the beating heart of serious American journalism, and access to it was reserved for the most respected players in the field. But today, having a West Wing press pass might simply mean that you're someone who writes nice things about Donald Trump. Someone like Lucian Wintrich, a 28-year-old blogger for a site called Gateway Pundit, who now has daily access to the White House. I think a lot of the, the other uh, correspondents, they uh, report as poorly as they dress. Terrible ties, like uh, Macy's um, discount uh, rack ties. Uh, incredible sheens to them. I don't like ties with, uh, that are very shiny. I think those are very obnoxious. I'm Lucian Wintrich. I'm the White House correspondent for the Gateway Pundit, the, uh, the largest political uh, news website in the Midwest. Technically, I'm not supposed to be smoking. Originally, I made a name for myself through a series of relatively homoerotic photos of uh, Twinkie boys in Make America Great Again hats. Before this position, I was uh, actually a uh, creative at an advertising firm. I had gone on the news and expressed my feelings that Donald Trump was the most pro-gay candidate. Shortly after that, my employer called me to his office. He said, we think you'd be better suited or happier um, following your other interests. A month after that, I threw the first ever conservative art show. This is the new punk. Republican is the new cool. And then a month after that, I, I was asked if I wanted to start covering the White House. I have a feeling they would strangle me if I actually sat down. Um, I think uh, the vast majority of new media that has recently gained entry to the White House is is somewhat controversial only to the old guard media. I definitely think that the White House is supportive of our presence in the briefing room because there, there is such a clear bias with a lot of these traditional old media folk. And very frequently I will overhear them disparaging uh, the press secretary, disparaging Trump before the briefing even starts. And so to add diversity of opinion and youth <laughs> To the, uh, to the briefing room, it is, or it has been rather, applauded by the administration. Are we, at that point, like very big chances, well, or no, we'll see what pans out in the negotiations? Okay. But I think there's not too many changes. I have not yet asked a question during the briefing. The one I've had a couple good ones, but uh, both those days, unfortunately, I wasn't called on. They don't really have a, I don't know, idiot's guide to being a White House correspondent book available. We're not making propaganda, we're fairly reporting. We're doing what uh, the vast majority of other journalists in that room should have been doing from the beginning. Yeah, the first paragraph needs to draw peep, draw readers in, ideally be somewhat sensationalist, and then uh, actually get to the, the details and the facts of the, of the report. In the near future, I do want to get more involved in interviews which require I think I, I personally I think they're they're pretty engaging especially if I can land some big names my first question for Trump would be how do you put up with the incredible narrative against this administration that we really haven't seen in history so I yeah I I'd tell him don't worry I'm I'm not one of them I I uh, was a supporter of this administration from the beginning and I will continue to support the administration I just I'd love to see some of those campaign promises uh, being fulfilled and conservative policy being cranked out of, uh, of your office. That's Vice News Tonight for Monday, May 15th. 